Hello students, welcome to the lecture on waste management and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Describe the waste management practices, conduct a waste audit or assessment, explain the steps toward proper waste management, describe the waste management strategies, define the target specific materials for recycling, explain the water conservation strategies. Environment, repeat. Environmentally aware travelers represent a growing market for the hospitality industry. Hotels, motels and bed and breakfasts that strive to be energy efficient, conserve resources and prevent pollution can distinguish themselves from those facilities which do not make protecting the environment a priority. One important aspect of an environmental friendly facility is an effective waste management program. In addition to protecting the environment, lodging Facilities will gain from decreasing costs and liabilities. Waste management can result in purchasing, savings and can be used as a marketing tool to attract environmental consciousness clientele. The foundation for any waste management program is the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Europe is a nice place with some really great people. But man, do we love to throw things away. In fact, the average European junks about 525 kilograms of waste each year. I mean, that's a whole lot of stuff. And much of it really is stuff as opposed to waste. Useful stuff. Worth money. All in all, it's just a waste of waste, isn't it? It's pretty hard on your back, too. So, what can you do about it? Stay tuned. OK, so you've got your half a tonne of waste, which might not make you half a tonne of money, but it could make you some. And off we go. A lot of the stuff in the bag is pretty useful as it is. Some bottles just need a wash up and a new cap. And old clothes and furniture come back into fashion before you know it. Some of it might need a bit of repair, but hey, that's job creation right there. Can't be a bad thing, can it? That's it, we're talking reuse. You might need to spend some money to make this happen. But since useful stuff is valuable, you'll get it back. And then some. Now some of your waste might be useless in itself, but made out of good stuff. Like metal, glass, paper and cardboard, all of which can be utilised again if you treat it right. And in fact, some of the really weird stuff used in electronic gadgets is so scarce that we actually need to use it again, if we don't want to run out. And yes, it's called recycling. Of course, collecting and processing isn't free. But here's the clever bit. Recycling turns your waste into useful stuff that can be sold. Shazam! Money in the bank, mate. And as if by magic, new jobs will appear as well. So, how's your back then? Better, eh? Looking good. OK, let's go. Let's have a look at what's left in the bag. Food leftovers, used cooking oil, some wooden paper, lots of plastic and ew, smelly stuff like cat litter and used diapers that sadly can't be reused or recycled. Or can it? Actually, it can. If you burn it to generate power and heat buildings and collect the biogas to use as fuel, it might not smell of roses, but hey, this is useful stuff. Of course, you need to make some initial investments. But in the long run, burning waste is definitely a whole lot cheaper than burning oil or coal. Same with greenhouse gas emissions. No contest, really. And then there's job creation again. This neat little trick is known as energy recovery. Not much left in the bag, is there? A whole lot less than half a tonne, that's for sure. Time to get rid of what's left at that place we all know and hate as the dump. Sadly, it can't be avoided completely. Some waste is simply useless and won't even burn. Ah well. Of course, you don't want poisons lying about, so harmful stuff needs to be securely destroyed or stored out of harm's way. Safety first, of course. And there's job opportunities there as well. But hang on a second. Do you really need to create that much waste to begin with? Come on, it's half a tonne for crying out loud. Of course you don't. We could all begin by actually eating the food we produce. 
Today half of it goes into the bin somewhere along the line. I mean, that's just wrong. Another good idea is to steer clear of disposable containers and packaging. And why not try reading the paper online instead of on paper? And so on. The trick is to reduce the amount of stuff you throw away in the first place. So there you have it. And you know, the cool thing is that all this is being done all over Europe as we, or rather I, speak. For instance, in Norrköping, Sweden, four local fuel and power companies literally live off each other's waste. The stuff that one company discards becomes the next one's raw material. And round and round it goes. Brilliant! Meanwhile, in Hungary, a mushroom growing company have this really sweet sideline going. An electric power plant fueled by biogas made from mushroom scraps and used growing substrate that produces marketable green power. I mean, how clever is that? And in Cumbria, in the UK, the county waste management people have worked with teachers and pupils to turn the Cockermouth School into a sustainable school. This is good news in more ways than one. Not only does the school chuck away a whole lot less than before, but the pupils have become expert reusers, recyclers and reducers in the process. And that's vital. After all, we're not born with sustainability skills. We all need to learn them. It's not like it's rocket science or anything, or it would be Stephen Hawking telling you this and not me. But still, knowledge is power. Green power. So, education and information is a big piece of the puzzle, no doubt. Costly, sure. But then again, you need to create jobs, don't you? I mean, let's face it, wasting your waste is such a waste. Management seeks opportunities to streamline processes, improve system and maximize profit. They may call it efficiently, quality or the search for excellence, but they are all looking for new ways to improve product or services while maintaining or lowering cost. In analyzing operation and procedure, many innovative companies have turned toward reducing their waste and as additional cost cutting method. Why is waste management important? Hotels generate large volumes of solid and hazardous waste. By proactively managing these wastes, a hotel can reduce operating costs, preserve local nature, attraction such as coral reefs and beaches, and reduce odors and pest infestation. Recent studies have shown that in some regions of the hotels and resorts, produce a more solid waste than all of the local residents combined. In some cases, Poor disposal practices on the part of hotel management have led to the garbage washing up into the beaches and contaminating the coastal waters, threatening to destroy the very attraction that lure visitors. Effective waste management helps ensure the long-term sustainability of fragile coastal ecosystem and preserve the natural beauty of beaches, coral reefs, forests and rivers that tourists come to enjoy. In addition to these long-term benefits, hotels that practice effective waste management will achieve benefits such as reduce manpower requirements for waste handling and disposal, reduce haulage and landfill tipping fees, revenue from the sale of recyclables. Let us now discuss the evaluate waste management practices. For small hotelers, there are three options available for assessing solid waste situation. A self-evaluation may be done at any time without need for outside help. This involves looking critically at all the areas in the hotel where waste is produced and deciding what steps may be taken to make operation more waste efficient. The small hotel environmental assessment involves a team of two trained experts working on property for two to three days. The team reviews facilities, operation and baseline performance and evaluates the property against a comprehensive list of best practices. The team then delivers a report that lists the best opportunities for reducing, reusing and recycling waste and provides guidance on how to implement them. Whichever method used, make sure to measure the amount of waste generated and identify the primary sources. The bulk of materials discarded by hotels consists of organic matter, that is biodegradable food, yard and beach waste, that can be largely controlled by individual properties. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study the conduct of a waste audit or assessment. The key step in successfully managing waste is to become familiar with the facility's waste stream. 
A waste audit is an assessment of what materials are being purchased, used, recycled or disposed. Work through the facility and identify what ways are being produced and why. Look in garbage cans, recycling bins and dump stars to get a feel for which materials are currently ending up where. Think about potential opportunities to reduce, reuse or recycle the waste. Set priorities and goals. Quantity that can be avoided, cost that can be avoided, ease of implementation, customer relation goals, community relation, degree of staff cooperation, relationship with suppliers. Program implementation. To ensure that the program is implemented effectively, announce new policies and practices, provide staff the resources they need for the change, train and educate staff about new policies and procedure, motivate staff, offer incentives, recognition and rewards for staff who develop ideas or participate beyond expectation. Greening the guest rooms. Depending on the property type and customer base, implementing some basic waste management changes in guest rooms could pay big dividends. There are many ways to reduce the waste produced in the guest rooms. A good place to start is to question the presentation and packaging of the amenities offered to the guests. There are several underused amenities such as daily newspaper and shower caps which should be provided only upon request. Thus reducing the amount of waste produced and saving money by eliminating unnecessary purchases. Several other examples of how to reduce the amount of waste produced in guest rooms are install refillable dispensers for shampoo, conditioner, lotion, etc. Encourage a guest to take a used bars of soap home. Donate useful products such as linens and furniture to charities. Reuse damaged linens as aprons or chef scarves. Reuse stained bar towels as cleaning clothes. Provide newspapers, magazines, etc. only in common areas. Use reusable products with food and beverage services. As much as 80% of the waste produced in guest room is recyclable. However, recycling bin must be conveniently located for guests to use them. The typical setup consists of recycling bins located in common areas such as elevator lobbies. An even better option would be to place bin inside guest rooms. Bins can be located underneath decks or in closet. Another alternative would be to ask guests to leave recyclables on the decks, bathroom, counters, dresses or tables so that the housekeeping staff does not need to dig through the trash. Offices. Another area where the hospitality industry can make improvement to their waste management program is staff offices. Almost all waste generated from offices is recyclable. Contact the local processors to verify what materials they accept. The waste assessment will indicate how much office waste is being generated. Once the types of waste being generated are determined, an efficient and effective recycling program can be implemented. The next step is to educate staff on the office recycling program and receive their commitment to participate. Typical office recyclables include kitchen or restaurant. In most hospitality industries, paper waste is the largest waste material followed closely by organic waste. Kitchens are responsible for some waste and almost all organic waste. However, there is something that can be done to more effectively manage kitchen waste, thus saving the facility money and protecting the environment. Kitchen can start by eliminating the use of disposal plates, bowls, cups, dinnerware, napkins, tablecloths, etc. Electronic waste. Electronic waste is a growing concern in today's world. Rapid advances in technology and expanding demand for new features accelerate the generation of obsolete electronic equipment. The hospitality industry is generates significant amounts of electronic waste, typically in the form of office equipment, electric lamps, television and DVD players or VCRs. Electrical equipment is usually made up of three basic components, metals, glass and plastic. Household hazardous or toxic waste. Depending on the facility, it might be necessary to dispose of some amounts of common household hazardous waste. Many cleaners, pesticides, paints, stains and personal care products are classified as hazardous. Let us now know the meaning of set priorities and take immediate action. 
After identifying opportunities for improving waste management, the property should identify the most attractive measures, prioritize them and develop a simple implementation schedule or action plan that assign responsibilities and set target dates. The main guidelines to remember when managing waste in order of priority are reduce the generation of waste at the source. Reducing the generation of waste is the first option that should be considered. This approach promotes the efficient use of resources and reduces the volume of waste material that must be handled by employees and hauled away from the property. Responsibility for reducing waste generation generally lies with management who decides what is brought into the property and thereby determines what eventually leaves the property as waste. Reuse all possible items. Whenever possible, hotels should reuse items in their original form for the same or a different purpose rather than discarding them. If an item cannot be reused on site, the property should investigate the possibility of selling it or donating it to employees, charitable organizations, schools, businesses or other interested parties. Recycle all possible items. Recycling consists of processing and transforming waste into new marketable products. This is the least favorable of the three waste management options and should be considered only if the reduce and reuse options are not applicable to specific waste streams. It is also the waste management option that is most difficult to implement. Recycle all possible items. Recycling consists of processing and transforming waste into new marketable products. This is the least favorable of the three waste management options and should be considered only if the reduce and reuse options are not applicable to specific waste streams. It is also the waste management options that is most difficult to implement. No cost steps towards proper waste man agreement. Develop purchasing policies or guidelines that help the property reduce solid and hazardous waste. Purchasing housekeeping chemicals in bulk and in concentrated form rather than in small ready-to-use containers reduces packaging waste and purchasing costs. As a general rule, the unit cost of most chemicals is inversely proportional to the size of the containers in which they are sold. The unit cost of food items purchased in single portion packages is generally significantly higher than its bulk purchase cost. Hotels often pay 100% surcharge or more for single portion items that could be readily purchased in bulk and served to guests in reusable containers or dispensers. For example, sugar sold in single serving packages can cost up to 5 times more than bulk sugar. Reduce the purchase of products with excessive packaging and avoid syro forms packaging altogether. Wherever possible, or return boxes, crates, bottles and containers to suppliers. Write a letter to suppliers to communicate the hotel's environmental policy and identify preferences. Buy locally produced goods and fresh food where possible. Use soda fountains or carbonators as opposed to glass or plastic bottles for refreshments. Reduce the use of hazardous chemicals and ensure staff use and dispose of chemicals properly. Many properties improperly store, use and dispose of chemicals. These careless practices waste money, pose unnecessary hazards to staff and guests and threaten the long-term health of the local environment. In order to avoid these problems, the property should consider implementing the following measures. Train the staff in the safe and proper handling, use and disposal of chemicals. Provide protective equipment such as glove and eye protection to staff when appropriate. Insist that contractors follow proper procedures when handling, using and deposing of their chemicals. Obtain the MSDS material safety data sheets for all chemicals used on property. Use the information contained in the MSDS to inform area supervisors and staff of the potential risk posed by the chemicals used in each department. Hazardous waste should be carefully handled and backed or boxed separately from regular garbage. Make improvement and investment. Reduce unnecessary waste by using durable, reusable and bulk items rather than disposable or single-use products. Hotels can save considerable amounts of money by purchasing reusable products rather than disposable products. Although reusable products sometimes have a slightly higher initial cost, they offer substantial savings over the long term. Reduce or eliminate the use of single-use items such as paper napkins and disposable plates, cups, cutlery, placemats, 
aprons and cook hats. In most cases, disposable items can be easily and cost-effectively replaced with durable items. For example, use durable coasters instead of paper napkins that must be replaced with every drink. Reduce the use of plastic film by purchasing durable plastic containers to store food in refrigerators and freezers. Where possible, use cloth cleaning racks instead of disposable paper towels or disposable J cloths. Replace paper napkins and table coverings with linen. Use cloth bags or baskets instead of plastic bags to collect and return guest laundry and guest room towels and linens. Use refillable amenity dispensers in guest bathrooms. Collect yard waste in canvas bags, wheelbarrows or carts rather than in disposable plastic bags. Use electrical resistance heaters, refillable alcohol or LPG burners instead of sterno to keep food warm in buffet lines. Purchase and install bulk dispensing systems for guest amenities and cleaning products instead of using disposable individual containers. Waste management strategies. There are the first two steps to decreasing a hotel's overall waste. Material reduction and reuse efforts focus on actions that staff can take to reduce their department or individual waste generation while at work. Recommended waste reduction activities. Review all documents that regularly get printed daily, weekly, quarterly and annually and evaluate whether a printed copy is absolutely necessary. If printed versions are not needed, make sure an electronic copy is made available to all appropriate staff. By eliminating needless printing, the hotel will decrease its paper purchasing cost. Make the most use of printing and writing paper before toasting it in the recycling bin. Set all printers and copiers to photocopy double-sided as a default and use single-sided printed pages for printing draft copies or as scrap paper. This effort will also save a tremendous amount of money on paper purchases. Reduce the amount of disposable beverage cups in the trash by providing staffs with a ceramic mug or by asking each staff person to bring in a reusable mug and or bottle to use at work. By eliminating this waste, the hotel saves valuable space in compactors and dumpsters and saves money on disposable cost. Offer unwanted linens and furniture to local non-profits. This will allow the hotel to save money on disposable cost, create a tax benefit as well as support the work of local organization. Use of materials exchange to get rid of unwanted items that the local non-profits cannot use. Material exchanges are websites on which unwanted reusable items can be posted. Items posted on exchanges are offered at a reduced price or for free. Target specific materials for recycling. Based on the visual assessment or waste sort, it will be obvious which recyclable materials are generated the most and from what departments in the hotel. By focusing on the most common recyclables in the trash, the hotel will be able to substantially reduce its waste disposal fees. Contract with a hauler for recycling services. Before a hotel can implement a recycling program, it must find a hauler that handles recyclables. Identifying a food waste hauler. The first step to finding a hauler that takes food waste to a composting facility is, is to talk with the hotel's trash hauler and ask if they also haul food waste. If they are haulers that do may be found by searching in the local phone book or the internet under trash haulers. Recycling. Recycling is a process by which materials otherwise destined for disposal are collected and used as raw materials for new products. Recycling prevents potentially useful materials from being land, filled or combusted, thus saving energy and natural resources. The common symbol for recycling is tree chasing arrows as seen above. Wasted food has a big impact on climate change, as most of it ends up in landfill sites where it rots and releases methane into the environment, which is a damaging greenhouse gas. The best thing we can do with our food is enjoy it, but some waste like tea bags, eggshells, banana skins, meat and fish bones is inevitable. All councils in Wales now collect food waste, which can be treated in one of two ways. The first, anaerobic digestion, uses microorganisms called methanogens to break down food waste, farm animal manures and energy crops in the absence of oxygen inside an enclosed tank. As it breaks down, it gives off biogas, which is collected and used to generate electricity, heat or transport fuels. It also creates biofertilizer that can be used in farming and land regeneration. 
The second method, in-vessel composting. It involves mixing food waste with garden waste, shredding it and composting it in a tunnel or container for around two to four weeks. Temperatures of up to 70 degrees C speed up the process and kill any harmful microbes. It is then left for a further one to three months with regular turning and checks to ensure quality before going on to be used as a soil conditioner. Water Conservation Strategies Considerable water conservation opportunities were identified through replacing or sustainably upgrading older equipment. After utility incentives are factored in, most of these upgrades could be made with a sample payback of two year or less accelerators, single pass water cool ice machines, replace existing water cooled ice machine or connect to and existing cooling water recirculation system. Laundry. Install ozone system and or rinse water recycle system to reduce laundry water and associated water heating and chemical use. Dishwashers. Replace inefficient dishwashers with water conserving models. This measure may only be cost effective for dishwashers which are already nearing the end of their expected life. Water management principles. Water management applies not only to the equipment and physical processes that use water, but also the human and corporate influences on water use. Waste management system is a crucial aspect of any hospitality business. It is important in the hospitality waste management environment that business comes across as a professional and clean environment to all of patrons. Furthermore, due to the increasing safety requirements of the industry, it is extremely important that waste disposal equipment, including dumpsters and rolled offs, be easy to operate and maintain all while meeting the required safety regulation. Be it a nationwide hotel chain or an individual motel, a safe, efficient waste management system is a crucial aspect of any hospitality business. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Waste management is used as a marketing tool to attract environmental consciousness clientele. Waste prevention is a reduction in the amount and or toxicity of materials entering the waste stream prior to recycling, treatment or disposal. Reduction in water demand and use correlates to saving in chemical use, energy, treatment, cause, wastewater, cooling and boil use and pre-treatment. Effective waste management helps ensure the long-term sustainability of fragile coastal ecosystem and preserve the natural beauty of beaches, coral reefs, forests and rivers that tourists come to enjoy. The hospitality industry is generates significant amounts of electronic waste typically in the form of office equipment, electric lamps, televisions and DVD players, VCRs, Electrical equipment is usually made up of three basic components, metals, glass and plastics.